What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking the top anticipated upcoming sneaker releases for July 2024. So stay tuned. Got a lot of things Doesn't changing make. in my life Hoping one day I'ma get it all right Brother is engaged, about to start Doesn't a new make. life Yeah, I haven't had a chill day Really I wanna vibe, really appreciate know. the moments I've been creating, not scrolling Mom and dad still support Alright man, I'm back with another video man Before I get too deep into this video You'll already know what to do Go and hit that like button It really helps the channel out And if you know, consider subscribing I made content about sneakers Alright, so let's dive into today's video just like i said in the intro man we're back with another top anticipated upcoming sneaker releases for 2024 now y'all know i do my very best to try to get one of these videos out at the beginning of the month each and every month i think i started this back in 2023 so we're just gonna keep the ball rolling man and i'm doing like you know definitely a different style i got a lot of positive feedback where i can just share my screen versus me just looking down at my phone um kind of like the live setup but you know we're gonna keep things moving from there now also uh maybe another dry spell month kind of like towards the last couple of weeks what we got in or at least the last week in june right okay um sneakers app for the first time ever i've seen like had no releases on there whatsoever but we're gonna keep the ball rolling and uh we'll see what it is i have a theory but again i think i'm gonna just save it for my live talk or whatever so for the podcast series so let me just go ahead and share my screen and we'll just dive right into these joints because these videos can or cannot take a long time so pretty much we're gonna start right off with july 1st and look like Adidas is starting some add a foam uh, slide off white colorways, a blue spark colorway, a sand colorway. Now, I think this is probably one of these like slides that upset it Yeezy because safe to say these are definitely inspired off of the Yeezy slides. And I think these were slightly cheaper. Don't quote me on that. I'm not going to click on any of these, but at the top of my screen, you know what? I'll click on one just for you know, ish and giggles or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it edited for YouTube. So price for these, I think the slides are 70 bucks, like the Yeezy slides, they were like 70 and 80 bucks. Now these, I wanna see if I can find a price point on these. Uh, look like we got a release and a brand, but I do not see a price point on these. Um, even if I was to just say like add the cart uh, release date, let's see, looking for a price. I don't really see one on here. I may even have to just click on one separately just to see if I want to like buy now. I'm just very curious. So yeah, if you just click on one um, and we'll go to see what they're going for on StockX for ish and giggles. If I can pull it up, um, we'll see. They go for $90 on a resale market and look like they don't have a retail price, but I think these were actually going below like, um, compared to what the resale or what the retail was on the Yeezys. But anyway, I'm gonna back out of these joints, but these are supposed to be anticipated July 1st. We're gonna keep the party moving right along. Um, looks like we have an Adidas Harden uh, Volume 8, and this is called After Hours. So this is supposed to be July 1st as well. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm showing up on the screen right here. And then of course, uh, July 1st, uh, Adidas Gazelle Indoor Olympic Pack. Also, I wanna throw this out there. Uh, these dates are subject to change. I want to take that. So take this all with a grain of salt pause, right? All these like dates and stuff that you see up on the screen, subject to change, a lot of things can happen. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, as you can see, like on July 1st, there's supposed to be an Adidas Samba and Giselle drop July 1st. Not saying it won't happen, but again, take it with a grain of salt. So we're gonna keep it moving right along. Looks like on July 1st, we have the Nike KD17 Team USA. So for you KD heads out there, we can see that. And then there's the Giselle Indoor Olympic Pack, another colorway coming July 1st. Also looks like we got a Nike LeBron 21. Now these, I'm pretty sure they gotta have some type of street name attached to these. And looks like it just got multicolor slash metallic silver. So these are supposed to be July 1st. Uh, the bronze shoes for me just didn't take off like that. But again, just because I'm not a fan of it don't mean it's not a hype shoe. Uh, we're gonna keep moving right along. Looks like we got some Air Max uh, 2013 joints. Again, July 1st. I highly doubt they drop all this July 1st. I haven't, not that I've researched it, but I don't see these loaded up on the sneakers app and or I haven't took the time to look on a Nike app. So take it with a grain of salt. Uh, July 1st, we have the Jaw One Reverse Scratch. Not mad at those. Looks like we also have the 
Cat in the Hat and Adidas Rivalry Low coming July 1st. Not mad at those either. Uh, the LeBron, and this is the next generation joint, supposed to be July 1st. So take all that with a grain of salt. Then we have the Nike KD4 Nerf. So I guess that's inspired off like the Nerf gun joint. Don't quote me on that. Um, a lot of people have been talking these Nike Verero 5s. They're supposed to be July 1st as well. And then they got a um, Ja 1 Team USA actual dropping. So I don't know if these will release to the public or not, but these are the dates that we have up on the screen. Um, and then it looks like there's a date two to be determined is what that stands for. Uh, or to be available or to be arrival, something like that is what I had to guess off of that one. The Nike LeBron 21 grandma's couch. So I'll say this, man, about the LeBron shoes. They, the concepts, they got it, but it's just, I think it's the silhouette for me personally. I'm gonna speak for myself. Moon right along again on July 1st, we have a Nike Air Max DN Royal Platinum, and then a Nike Air Max 90 Drift, and then we have a Adidas Gazelle Indoor Olympic Pack. So apparently they're probably gonna do a huge like Gazelle pack of these joints. So we'll see how that goes as well, all on July 1st. Again, keep in mind this is subject to change because I have yet to see any of this stuff kind of loaded up. Um, we're gonna move right along. We got some Air Maxes coming along, 90 Drift. All on July 1st, I highly doubt it, bro. Um, just saying. And then they got an Air Max 90 version. And then the Gray Fogs, which I'm pretty sure I've done a video on. This is probably be a restock that we can probably keep an eye out on for July 1st as well. Um, Nike Air Force One Lows coming July 2nd, apparently. And then we got some more Adidas. Uh, the Addy Foam joint supposed to be coming July 4th. But I'll back at track real one more time. Uh, July 3rd, look like we have a Nike Dunk, and I believe this one is like a um, anthracite type of colorway, which we've seen that time and time again. Um, if these are coming, I'll definitely try to have a video on these guys for sure, and I'm talking right here up on the screen for the people who don't know. Uh, we're going to keep it moving right along for July 4th. Looks like Adidas Nova, a bread colorway or infinity colorway. So Adidas is trying to make a bounce back, and we're just going to keep it moving right along. Uh, looks like July 5th, there's going to be an Air Jordan 1 low golf coming. So for you golf players, why not? Uh, July 5th, we have a Nike Dunk Low uh, Concept Japan City Attack. So I definitely will have a video coming on that one. Um, July 6th, we have the Opium Paris uh, Jordan Airship Hornets. So if you guys like airships, maybe this could be that shoe for you. Very interesting, by the way. Um, I'm not going to really talk to cleats right here. This is a Nike Griffey Air Max 2 baseball cleat. So if y'all are playing baseball and y'all need a new fresh pair of cleats, why not? You know, July 10th, looks like we have a Air Jordan 1 High OG First in Flight. I'm not mad at these. I'm not mad at these at all. I'm not going to talk these joints right here, but yeah. Uh, I'm not mad at these that are coming on uh, July 10th. Will I go for them? Time will tell. You guys most likely know where my mind is at on those. Um, also, July 10th, which we've already had the drop. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, we had the drop on the 28th through the Union website, which was actually, I want to say it was on the 27th. Then they tried to do it again on the 28th. But yeah, the Union Nike Field General, and this is a black colorway. I know they got another colorway, but maybe this is the only one that's going to come up on the sneakers app. And then the other ones are pretty much you got to get through Union. I have my own theory about Union and how I feel about them, but I'm going to keep it pretty simple, straightforward for them. I'm not going to diss them. Um, they definitely had their run, I'll say that. Uh, we'll go right along here. Uh, July 11th, we have the Nike Air Max SNDR. And then on the 12th, we have a Air Max Plus. So for you Air Max heads, why not? Uh, also, July 12th, we have a Nike Air Force One uh, NN. So you know me, I'm a big Air Force One guy to the full of me. So overall, you know, you can't go wrong with an Air Force One. I'll say that. Uh, this one, I can see it making some sales. And I'm pretty sure all their products make some sales. Uh, July 12th, also, bringing New Balance in the game. Got a 9060 Concrete. Not looking bad. I'm hoping the comfort is there the way that shoe is made. Hopefully the comfort is there. So again, we're going to move right along again. We got July 12th, and this is the Nike Next Nature Dunk Olympics. So we'll see how that goes. Again, July 12th, we have the, Nike, uh, we have the New Balance 9060 Moon Beam. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then July 12th, we have the Nike Sabrina 2 Conductor. 
So, I mean, it's pretty dry though, man, if we're gonna keep it 100. Uh, moving right along for July 13th, we have the Nike Field General, and I'm talking right over here for the people who can't really tell up on my screen. Um, I'm gonna keep it moving right along. This one is kind of throwing me off right here on the corner for July 14th, and this is the Nike Air Foot Scape Woven. It kind of makes me think of those Air Jordan, what, twos unions did, where they did that baseball or purse searching or stitching or whatever. But yeah, we're getting it for the 14th for whatever reason. Uh, let's see, we have the Nike Air Pegasus 2K5 Sunrise coming on the 14th. And then we also have the denim version of that Nike Air Footscape Woven. So there's a denim pair, and then I guess this one is gonna be like a baby blue pair, but don't quote me on that. Wanna keep the party moving right along. Um, let's see where we at real quick. Nothing I see really too crazy on the radar, but we'll go ahead and go to the 18th, man. I don't wanna sound like I'm hating or anything like that. Uh, we'll go 16th, we'll go to the 16th right here. And this is the Adidas Samba, and this is the Inner Miami, cause I know the Sambas actually do move, and I know the Young Bucks have been keeping their eyes on these right here. Um, also, July 18th, we have the I'm My Year Edge One Three Burgundy. Now, I was anticipating, and as you can see right underneath it, there's a black pair, and I have seen a video floating around of the people who get them early and do the early reviews, not taking shots, but um, this mock-up image is looking completely different from what I'm seeing on the videos. Um, I'm assuming the ones on the videos have gotta be more accurate, but I mean, who knows right now? But these are both coming July 18th. I'm assuming if both drops, one's gonna be exclusive with on my year, and then Nike's gonna get that general drop where you can get a second chance now. If the black pair, I'm on the fence. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go, I'm retail only if I go for them. I'll leave it at that. Um, let's see, let's keep it moving right along for July 18th as well. We have the Nike SB Dunk Pro. And this one right here, I'm gonna just click on it because I can't really see the full name. So let me click on these joints. This is the Tornado Gardens. Probably just butchered that all the way. So y'all bear with me, but yeah, Tricardo. I'm probably butchering it. Um, Y'all, feel free to correct the kid down in the comment section. I won't be offended. Trust me, because that was not an easy name. And then we have right here on July 19th, we have an Air Jordan 3 WNBA. Uh, and this looks like a camo. Nothing but an Air Jordan 3, like desert camo, if you ask me. At least I know for a fact that's probably what the colorway is called, right? Okay. And then we're going to keep it moving right along right here. We're going to keep it moving. Um, let's see. Uh... I'll mention this one just for, you know, it's on the screen. We got July 19th, we got the LaMelo, Ball, and Puma Untouchable joints coming. Uh, looks like it's got a black and pink colorway, and then there's gonna be like a LaFrance moment. So the Untouchables is like black and pink, and then the LaFrance moment. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. So very interesting to see how that's coming. Another seems like a, like a good dry month, if you ask me. July 20th, we're anticipating Air Jordan 1 Low OG Bronze. So if you guys are checking for those, let me know. Um, we're gonna keep them moving right along. Now I know Adidas AE1 MX Charco is coming and then there's a MX Silver Pebble. So for the people who are fans of the Adidas, I wanted to mention those for you guys for July 20th. Also July 20th, which take it with a grain of salt, it's gonna be those Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan 4 RM SP, which is special project. And I think these are the ones on the back where it says, bike instead of Nike. Yeah. Um, it's a stretch for me, but I give him credit for creativity and trying to do his own thing, you know, but I don't, this is my thing. I don't even think Travis is there for his own. This is my thing. Travis, let me clarify. Travis is there for his own release, but I mean, I don't think Travis was ready to do his own sneaker period. And you mean to tell me Nigel is? And that's just where I'm at with it. I don't see these going on me at all. Don't wanna sound like I'm hating. Um, we're gonna keep the party moving right along for July 24th. Looks like there's gonna be a Nike SB Dunk Low Safari, and it's gonna be like the Olympics in parentheses. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, also, July 24th, we got a Nike SB PS8. Very curious how that's gonna go as well. July 26th, we have a Nike Dunk High and this looks like a, and I wanna see if I can get the colors on this joint. I don't wanna just like read the name. So uh, it looks like it's got a gum sole, but it's like a racer blue colorway is what they're calling these guys right here. So if you're a dunk high guy, uh, bars, no pun intended, but yeah, see, so you probably wanna copy these joints. 
Uh, also, we have July 26th, the Adidas Samba OG made in Italy. Looks like it got like some reptile skin on that joint right there. Am I tripping? And then also we have July 27th, the Air Jordan 4 SE, um, which is Paris Olympics. So we'll see how that goes. I've seen reviews on these already as well. Um, as much as I am a sucker for gray, these do look a little plain jean, you know, keep it 100. But they're probably very, very versatile. And we'll just keep it going on. Uh, July 30th, we have a Nike Dunk Low. Let me see if I can get the color. These actually look kind of super cool. So a uh, sweet version of the Nike Dunk Low, but they don't have an official, like, I guess it's the Cacao Wow Pale Ivory and Pink Foam, but no official name from what I've seen from these guys right here. But uh, kind of borderline gives me, like, if we were going to do... I don't know, it's got that brown on there. I feel like I've seen something like this before. I can't put my finger on it though, pause. Uh, July 30th, we have the Air Jordan 3 wings. Um, yeah, maybe for the kiddos, but yeah. And we have July 30th again, we have the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Burnt Sunrise. So we'll see how that goes. I know a lot of people like the different like colorways. And then some honorable mentions, I guess, cause these are like to be determined dates uh pretty much and then what's anticipated in the fall some more adidas ae um look like there's going to be a night indigo joint and there's going to be a footwear white and then the two to be determined for july also we have pretty much the air max plus one block down uh looks like they got a blue colorway and then this colorway looks like more like that brunt orange and then also uh just to close things out for spring 2024 there's going to be a um, my year and this looks like the air jordan 17 they don't look bad, so we don't have a date on them just yet. They just say spring, and then we have an Air Jordan 1 Low Hornets colorway. Um, I've had something like this similar in the past, and I end up getting rid of them, so maybe I'm just not a Hornets guy. Let me put myself back on the main screen because that pretty much wraps up top anticipated upcoming sneaker releases. Uh, definitely a longer video than what I anticipated, but uh, you guys sound off in the comment section what you're looking for this month. Seems a little bit dry. I don't know what's going over in, on at Nike. and Well, Adidas, we kind of have an idea what's going on. Nike, I don't know, not so much. If I had to make my best guess, they're just making some changes and cleaning things up. But again, I don't know. I don't work for Nike, but other than that, man, this completes this video for top anticipated upcoming sneaker releases for July 2024. Y'all sign off in the comment section. Other than that, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really holds the channel out. And if you know, instead of subscribing, I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.